name is Jen. I have some very noisy chickens in the background. And today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious butter chicken. But first, we have some important business to discuss. Firstly, who are you serving? What do you love and worship? Who do you submit to? What are the gods in your world? What is the purpose for your life? And what do you really pay attention to? Last but not least, very, very important in a cooking video, deadly poison. In this week's Torah portion, in Deuteronomy 29 verse 9 to chapter 30 verse 20, Moses explains that the Israelites have traveled through quite a few different countries to get to where they are. And during that time, they've seen idol worship in these countries. My family's been to Bali, where they have many, many idols. The Balinese offer sacrifices throughout the day. And when people go on holidays to Bali, they come back home and some of them might think, oh, I really like one of those idols. They remind me of being on holiday in Bali. I'll put one in my house. To anyone who has done that, get rid of it. Those idols are actually demons who want to be worshipped instead of God. In Deuteronomy, God says that every curse that is written will be brought upon people who worship other gods. Just like the Israelites traveling, we travel through our workplaces, schools, shopping centers, friends' homes, and anywhere really that can, we can see any manner of things that people worship. In chapter 30 of Deuteronomy, I found at least four times where Moses implores the people to pay attention to what God says. So I would say that giving our attention to God is worship. I also found the word serve many times through chapters 29 and 30 of Deuteronomy. I looked up the word serve in Hebrew and it said to cultivate, to do, perform and serve. So can I propose to you that worshipping God is serving and doing things for him, but not just that. Doing things for him, but very, very importantly, giving attention to what he requires. If you want to worship God by serving him, it is 100% important to know what pleases him and what displeases him and what he's asking you to do. Whether we are 15, 51 or 105, our job is to serve him. And people, if you want to do that properly, you need to know what God loves and what he hates. Otherwise, you'll miss the mark entirely. Deuteronomy 30 verse 20 says, love the Lord your God, paying attention to what he says and clinging to him. For that is the purpose of your life. Hooray! I just told you the purpose of your life. Wow. Another thing that Moses repeats is loving God with all your heart and all your being. So I want to get back to the idol worship because it's such a big deal in this portion of scripture. And actually, it's the very reason that the Israelites have been taken out of their land three times throughout history. God is very clear about idol worship. God says that idol worship is like deadly poison. And if the Israelites do it, they will be cursed and kicked out of the land. This is serious stuff. Then there's this interesting section of the portion that describes a scenario. If a person thinks, oh, I'll stubbornly keep doing what I feel like in secret because everyone else around me is doing the right thing, they'll be fine, nothing will happen to me. God says a person who behaves like this, God will single him out and every curse written in the book of the Torah will be upon him. Deuteronomy 29, 28 says God will not punish an entire nation because of the secret sins that only God can know about. But where sin is visible in our community, we are responsible. If we don't take responsibility, 
for these things, our nation will be punished. God takes idol worship very, very seriously. Don't think that because Jesus has died for our sins that we can do whatever we want. God calls us to serve him with all our heart, all our soul and all our mind. If we know this, then what is our proper response? I think it would be fair to evaluate what idols we have in our world. I tried to make a list of as many as I could think of. I thought of fashion, music, people, entertainment, pleasure, food, sport, study, work, money, revenge. And there could be so many more. Sometimes idol worship can be obvious, like the Hindu idol worship in Bali. But others can be less obvious, like the list I mentioned. May I encourage you to write your own list of idols in our world and check your inner pantry, that's your heart, and make sure that it's healthy and 100% choosing to give your attention to God and his word and doing what he desires. In Deuteronomy 15 it says, Look, I am presenting you today with, on the one hand, life and good, and on the other, death and evil in that I'm ordering you today to love the Lord your God, follow his ways and obey his instructions, regulations and rulings. I just want to add one more thing. Jesus, the Messiah, knew and practiced these scriptures that I've been discussing with you. And when he was asked what was the most important commandment, he said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your understanding, and with all your strength. That's Mark 12, 29. Without further ado, let's get cooking. This butter chicken, I think you'll all agree, is a good influence that India has had on Australia. <laughs> 